Yo, welcome, 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 welcome. We is bike, baby. That's right. Another year. Can y'all believe we here? Probably no. not. Probably fucking not, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Hurry Blay. This is Yons. I'm your girl, Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. a.k.a. That Bitch, a.k.a. Full Court Pumps, a.k.a. Mandy B, goddammit. When are you going to give up Queen Latifah? Queen Latifah not going nowhere, baby, because these new teeth is here, baby. They're nice. Shot. I love them. See, Shot when I got my titties done, I stopped talking about it after like two years. Oh, you, well, then maybe think, I'll talk about these things for two years. You think you're ever going to forget they there? What do they feel like? Like teeth? They don't, you don't feel like something else is... No, nah, I don't suck dick with them already and everything. It's like normal. When, when you eat, like, it, it, everything brushes off regularly. Like, there's no... Mm-hmm. It do you use a water pick? Like, do you feel like you have to get your mouth more I do clean? have to. I, I, I feel like I have to floss more. Because yeah. I feel like they be catching some shit. And I be like, God damn, uh-uh, it's got to come out. Thank you. They're nice ones, I literally yeah. was like, I don't want to be Consequence. Don't want to be Nori. Shout out to Black Effect. Didn't want to be Erica Mena. There was a lot of people I said I didn't want to look like. Erica so. Mena got fucked up to you? Oh, my God. They're so big. Anyway. Anyways, guys, welcome. <laughs> my name's Weezy. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for another year. Let's just have a gag laugh at how many times y'all niggas said we wouldn't make it to every year. Every year. But they also said there was no way that y'all could keep talking about sex. Well. For more than 100 episodes. They said, what y'all gonna do when y'all get to episode 100? They ain't that much shit to talk about. Y'all, we here again. Next year, we here. And we here for 2024, too. Now, let's not act like we deal to 2024, y'all. There have been times where so. I feel like I've, ooh, damn. Like, do I need to get fucked so we can do this show? But we have a guest, great. Yeah, so now we get to talk yeah. about how you get fucked. <laughs> or you fucked. Right. Sorry. You, well, bitch, no, you can get I, fucked. Yeah, you can get fucked. I've been, be fucked I've been fucked by women, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to accept what it is. <laughs> yeah. Consensually fucked. Yeah. Um, we have our boy Nick in the building. Nick Cregan. Clap it up for Nick. Hey. We, you know, we, let me think. Oh, sorry, I was drinking. Out of, Thank you. By, out of the light-skinned mans. We don't have many. <laughs> because honestly, now we all look like brother and sister on this couch. Yeah, I really don't like this. This is giving the biracial brigade, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the mulatto militia. Is that why like, it took me so long doing? to be a guest? <laughs> no, I'm talking shit. Actually, it, it's crazy because you had just, I know we've talked about it like yeah. whatever, but Nick had just hit me up and was like, yo, let me be a guest. I'm like, nigga, are you nasty? And he was like, yeah, I like feet. Well, no, no. <laughs> I like beautiful toes. I don't like feet. You said feet. But nice feet. Let me be specific. I don't like feet. Like if I see foot, feet, no, nah, it's not. No. Nah, foot ain't a foot. Nice no, you toes. You said feet. You said oh, toes. Not okay, feet. nice toes are a way of life. Like it's like you have to. It's it's a way of life. Like you don't you take care about care, the arch you know or what anything. I'm How do the toes have to look? Well, what are good toes? Okay, so good toes. Karuchi has beautiful toes. Not the niggas. I mean, they're long. Things. Yeah. They're so long. How no, do you they're, know? they're nice. Rihanna, I, I look, Rihanna. Everybody talks toes. about her feet. Exactly. Like there's like you know a, what? That's why these sneakers saying on them because the way you were explaining those two toes, their 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 toes are so long they're almost like fingers. Karuchi toes. But they're just they're up, symmetrical but though. But see, and that's the problem. The I got I got toes. chicken nugget toes. Oh, what does that mean? I got, I got Karuchi has great feet. But they're you, you know see what I'm how saying? long they are though. Her they're toes. Not, but she takes good, though. she clearly takes pride in them for too. For sure. You know. Because she wears them nice ass heels all the time. Yeah. One hundred percent. But okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, I yeah. got you. So, no, mine are short. So I wait. So mine are short. I, I see. Got... So you got we see got the toes. You the know black and white. Yeah. I, so as a as a toe kind of sore, right? <laughs> there is. I have a staircase toe. That's the best. That's the best toe. It's supposed to go. It's not supposed to go like you see how my middle finger is longer. If if your toe is like that, that's... wait. How old are yours? It's all the same size. What you mean? Wait, they, I swear to God, all my Yo, feet. Take oh, out, no, no, take no, out I swear this, to God, all my feet. Why are y'all making take me do that? Take out the toes. I really take them off. Off. I'm a judge. And you I'm know what? You... Join our YouTube. Am it I allowed? Am I allowed decision. to give you a rating? You can rate my toes because I okay. did have a feet page at one point. You used so... to sell feet, sell sell feet. <laughs> Y'all want to know something crazy? I did at one point. I looked up my first and last name recently on Google, and yeah. there's literally a foot page with 149 <laughs> pictures of my feet. Of your specific feet? They've been feet? building it for three years. That's pretty oh wild. My God. All right, here's I a moment that, of truth. Oh, my God. She said chicken Wait, nugget all toes. Oh, they might be ashy. Yeah, they're all the same size. What does that mean? See? They're all oh, the same size. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Maybe then that's why this. Is, but I was what I was saying. Oh, right? the same Your toes are not ugly. Okay, but that's they're my but word. they're also they they're not staircase. They are very very right? the same, <laughs> which is interesting. Like your pinky toe ain't. Your, no, everything the is kind of the same. The pinky toe is like the only toe that's a little shorter. See, Mandy, it's a hand. Bro. It it it's an interesting vibe. Yo, shut the. 
It's, all right, all right. No, but listen, you know what you do have? <laughs> the color of choice. The white toes. Oh, thank you. The white yes. toes isn't. So let me ask you as women. Is it because it's like white um, toes is it? It makes it's it look like clean. The, the perfect toenail polish color is marshmallow. Marshmallow, baby. Marshmallow. Not I, white out that, white. Now you're advanced. No, like it's a no, thing. No, it's like a pearly white. Pearly white. It's a pearly white marshmallow. That's what I mean. It can't, I got the it can't be white out. Hey, it's giving um, pearly whites all, all Okay, the way wait, Nick, I got to surprise you with something. What you got to surprise me with? This shit was so crazy because when this girl wrote this me, I said, so what? So I reposted a picture of us or something. Yeah. And. Oh, from the um the other night, the EYL joint. Uh-huh. And this girl replied that I know. Mm-hmm. And she said, all caps, oh my God, I had sex with him in college. <laughs> I said, shh. <laughs> I said, shut the fuck what? up. Mind you, I worked with her I like years ago. I was saying, was it ago. good? I said, did he fuck your feet? She goes, no, he didn't. But he did have porn on in the background. Wait, what? Who, what? what? <laughs> this you is, have, let this me see. is her. Do you remember fucking her? Oh, yeah. Yeah, ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. Not do you remember Yo, fucking her. Yo, she actually, that's wow. crazy. She wrote, she wrote me and she said, I haven't spoken to this girl in years. Oh, that's my dog. That used to be my. Right. So she wrote me. I'll actually tell you the story of how we met and all that. Okay. She wrote me the other day. She said, oh, Weezy's my girl to the bed. Like, that's my, that's what my homies. And I'm like, oh, dope. Like, yeah, Weezy's dope. But she didn't say, I told her that we had sex. <laughs> I, mean, like, I mean, women, I'm not going to lie. To be fair, we don't tell our male friends or guys that we fucked everything that we tell our friends. Like, there's been guys that I fucked and I'd be like, yeah, I'm hanging with my homegirl. I'm not telling you that I told my homegirl how I had you bent right, over I mean, my HOS. Sure you probably haven't before. talked to her in years. Yeah, I'm yeah not... that's crazy. But now, oh, but yes, we, we do that. I worked with her for years, and she never said I did fuck this one black guy in college. Yo, so we met in <laughs> political science class. I think it was either. Not I think it was political now. science. And, not post science. And both y'all don't do that shit today. <laughs> what's weird is I don't. I've never had a white girlfriend. Um, but in college, I started having sex. I've had I had sex with white women. So this is a white woman we're talking about. And it's interesting because I used to think white girls just weren't, and I'm saying weren't into me because I'm, I'm, most of the people I grew up with are black or Latin, so all my girlfriends have been black or Latin. You wouldn't think white girls was into you with those light now eyes? No, you know you light enough. Now, no, nigga, because you... cause white women that I met were either into white dudes or if you're black, you're you black. You want to be black? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. know what I'm saying? So it was like too much of in between for them, I feel like. I don't like. think I knew that biracial men had this problem. So I thought about that. <laughs> I did not know. Yeah, that's how I felt. I was like, oh yeah, why I don't know how to talk to white girls. We I don't know what they're I don't know what they're into. Like, oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember when Sophia said I was only got quarter black? <laughs> but the first white girl that ended up turning me out to two things, older women and white women was this uh my grandma's nurse when I was <laughs> First of all, Nick, uh, uh, I didn't even get what? to the goddamn horrible decision. But let's talk about it. Yeah. Now, so, is your grandma still alive? No, she passed away. Okay, well, I, mine too. So rest in peace yeah, to our grandmas. Yeah. But was it like a hospice nurse? No, 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 no. So my grand, so crazy stuff. I was like, because now you really ain't shit. My grandma had, um, she had like a fall and she had to go to the hospital. And where we're from, there are like two hospitals. There's White Plains Hospital and the Westchester Medical Center. Oh, that's where I was going during COVID to get Which my tests. All I know is I lived in the Bronx at the time, and then oh. COVID lines was long. So you probably went to so Westchester went to, Med. What, and, she, and might, she might have took your test. Yeah, so so <laughs> oh she was like God. the head nurse, and she was taking care of my grandma. I went to see my grandma. Nurse. So she came in the room, and I'm like, damn, this chick is bad. Like This chick is bad? Yeah. I was looking at her, and I was like, Shh. I was like 19. How old do you think she was? I thought she might have been about like at least 26, but I wasn't sure where she was at. Mm -hmm. She happened to be 28. Um, yeah, because who knows that difference? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So she happened to be 28, and we caught eyes, but I was like 19. Somehow she found me on Facebook and she wrote me. She was like, Hey, you looked, I saw you today and I knew you looked super no, familiar. It's actually giving HIPAA violation. It's not she happened to find you on Facebook. She knew your goddamn <laughs> grandma's name. She no, searched so you. she told me that I looked familiar and <laughs> that she had seen me in the neighborhood before. So she went to the same high school as me, but she was way older. <laughs> but all of my friends were older, so we started having sex. You know, I think a grandbaby, ain't you? And it was like to, it was the, some of the best sex I've ever had in my life. Like she turned me the fuck. Twenty eight ain't that old if you're. I wouldn't. Would you? If you're a 28, would you fuck a 19 year old dude? Actually, yeah, mm -hmm. Mandy would. I absolutely did. Really? Sure did. How was I that? Because, well, at the time, I was bamboozled. 
So I thought young guys had the stamina. I like rounds. I like a nigga to like come and stay hard and fuck me right again after. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. come again and fuck me again right after. Yeah. I like to be tired until I'm like running from the dick, right? Mm -hmm. And so I thought just only young guys had that. I didn't realize that so do retired men because they have a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> so, but also when you're older, you're way more, way more advanced yeah. in the bedroom. And I was like, oh, I ain't got to teach. I ain't got to teach motherfucker nothing no more. Right. So now I actually prefer older guys, but them young little tenderonies, I used to be after them. So yes, I did. And you know what? I know she used to joke about me all the time. Oh my God, they can't even drink with you. I had a bar at my house, so we didn't have to go out. <laughs> just just Damn, judge me, But you okay? know, you know for a fact, these young dudes, when you're doing that, they feel like they're on top of the fucking because world. Because you're an older woman. Yeah, that shit yes. is so attractive to a younger guy. So for me, this woman, I was fucking her and she was trying to have me live with her. Can and I'm I like, I gotta you, go back to college. What, yo, what? But yeah. what what things did you said she turned you out? Yeah. Now, now real quick, when I say I turn a nigga out, I mean certain things. So what did she how did she turn you out? What did she it do? She started with the gooch. Oh, oh, I wow. knew it. She yeah. was in that Buddha hole. She started huh? licking the gooch. Oh, you like that, huh? That shit. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, straw between the teeth. I was like, what the fuck? Like I had never, you know what I'm saying? I had never felt that before because the chicks my age were not, they're not doing they that. They wasn't eating that. No, but I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I didn't eat that. How old are you now? Too? I'm 31. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. like our yeah. age. Okay. When's your birthday? July 30th. Okay. Yeah. So she started oh, licking the gooch. You can't ask the age. I thought you was getting into the stars and moons with him. Or you just wanted to see when he turned 32. You're Leo. Yeah. Oh, see. I was getting into Leo, now. Leo rising, Leo sun. Okay, all, the, all right, all right. You just got to go with the first one. No <laughs> one needs to hear your whole hey, house. Hey, there's okay? a bitch right so, now that I, wants to know. I'm so used to it, but I feel like that's just the fucking... How many women asked what time you were born? I don't answer them anymore. <laughs> I'm like, they probably why doing voodoo the fuck? on your yeah, ass I'm not, at that point. If you're if you're a co-star girl, like if you're like get ass <laughs> searching my fucking co-star to see if we should continue this conversation, I'm like, yo, you're you're too deep into the. I mean, I'm a fuck anyway, but sometimes I do like to know what what will happen. What kind of? I just don't like putting preconceived notions on anything. I'm like, yo, just get to know somebody, and then when you're really, I right, for instance, the girl I'm dating right now, she's a Sagittarius, and. <laughs> My most intense. <laughs> I hate that we talk about this. Guy. My most What's intense sex with anybody has been a Sagittarius woman. Mm. And when she told me she was a Sag, I was like, "Oh, you already know. Like, you know this shit is gonna. You, this is gonna be crazy." Really? <laughs> yeah. I just knew it. Like immediately, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be wild." And I told her that. It was crazy, and that's why y'all still talking because that's the girl you're talking to right now. Okay. He said, "You know Horizon." Yeah, no. Uh, Do you no, care no, about no, the rising and shit? You know Virgo moon. Shit. I forgot what the <laughs> not the Virgo moon. If yeah. a nigga was telling somebody she? on a podcast, my mean? moon. I don't know. I you said moon <laughs> what stars. Star, I don't know. She house, just universe. It's all them she, things. She's she's a sag. But How are her feet? Fucking amazing. Do you want to know something? No. That's why I know God. God loves me, right? So <laughs> not you being. I manifested. Chosen. I her manifested fun. her. Really? Like the first day we started, I DM'd her, right? And the first day we started talking. I'm asking her that she's Latin. So I'm like, yo, teach me X, Y, and Z in Spanish. I hate niggas. And then I found out how to say, oh. Uh, Hamburguesa? <laughs> <laughs> no. You should have seen me in Colombia, nigga. I said. Hamburguesa? I said, I said something about a foot massage. And she was like, oh, don't play with me. I love feet rubs. And then I was like, this bitch doesn't even know who she's talking to. Well, also, Wait, so you do like feet. It ain't just it, They the got to be pretty, though. It got to be the whole... Yes, you want the, your foot rubbed or you like giving I like rubs? giving pretty uh -huh. feet, you know what I'm saying? Like kiss a little, you know what I mean? So... I know. So I, I, said, I was like, but... I was like, you got to have pretty toes. Like, I'm not going to... We can't continue or interesting this conversation. Toes. Y'all can have you pretty right after that? She sent me a photo of her feet right after that. Wait, Three, you, wait, via DM or had y'all moved into text message? Right it was here? still in the DM, oh, but it wasn't. But it wasn't she, the disappearing pic. She sent him he said, pics in the she DM. Said three. It was Looking her hand. As hell today, just it was her hand and her toes. Tash. She was like, "Did these suffice?" I was like, "She sent you her foot via the Instagram DM." Did you guys See, fuck the first night? No, no, no. So this was all. <laughs> she lives in another uh, city. I don't want to say too much. Yeah. She lives in another city. If you didn't get a bitch's fucking moon. <laughs> she lives in another city, so this was all over text and dm at first and that shit was an instant connection like it was crazy so um yeah when she sent the foot pic i was like oh and then she made a joke i don't know if she was serious or not she was like oh my cousin told me i could sell feet pics because like they're sexy or whatever and i was like if you were to sell feet pics what would you 
What would be did you, you ask the price? Did you ask the price? No, I was just trying to get more. I was just trying to you get more. Trying to what out what would you, you do? Sell. Well, because I'll be honest. So when when I pandemic time, I was like, why not? Um, didn't last long. Only two months. I did it. But when I was when when I got into the foot picture realm, you asking that question was when I learned there's things like giving uh, foot jobs. Yeah. On the on the camera. Pouring food and things on your feet. That what was what kind a thing. of food? What anything that's like sweet? Um, no, anything that's like the <laughs> consistency of nut or cum. So what is I was that? just like, thinking like maybe like uh, I did do a video with baby oil because then it glistened. Oh my god, Mandy, um, I remember. No, seriously, the oh, music. I got the video. Oh yeah, I I'll look for it. Uh, but also, that's hilarious. Yeah, no, but, and then and the cameraman just holding the foot. <laughs> no, seriously. Well, and also I didn't realize too that there's a thing with how you stretch your toes and arch and scrunch. So th there was a thing where he was like, now scrunch, now spread. And guys apparently like the spreading oh, and scrunching So I toes. did research on this. See, of okay. course you did. Because I wasn't, I was very confused as to why I like feet and toes. So I'm like, yo, I don't know why that shit turns me on, but it does. Okay. So I looked it up and there's something in your brain that. Not the brain. Whenever you're attracted to genitalia. It is science you might have your wires crossed a little bit where your brain confuses feet with genitalia. So the same shit that turns you on about a woman's vagina or whatever you're into is the so same So you want to fuck the fourth hole? Is the fourth hole supposed to be the foot hole? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm doing. I mean, I've done that, yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you... Are they exhausted? Because it's a lot of ab work. Like, just doing this, like, yeah. over and over. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> No, you might be laying down like you oh, might. Oh, from the back. Yeah, you might be from the back. Your feet might be up, or or you just. Or I'm laying down and she's laying down, and her feet are like just in front of me, and she's doing that. Yeah, it might be a good workout. That's kind of hot, it's... even though I don't like. And the best thing is like coming on toes. See, you know? I could do this more than I could. I don't like my toes in somebody's mouth. See, I love. I don't like wet feet. <sighs> yeah, like. If, and then if... I be getting fucked, and they still wet, and I just like. Mm, yeah. Are you gonna show me your I, foot I fetish one. video? Oh my god, this looks like porn. <laughs> <laughs> this is no. funny as fuck. There's no sound? No, there is, but oh, okay. it's an audio experience here. Guys, if you want to see my foot video, I will post it. This is to actually Patreon. funny. <laughs> Yo, Wait, this is funny as fuck. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> <though. Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> not he dragging Yo, on not you spreading them. <laughs> Is this like, slow-mo? I yeah. told you, yeah. It looks like somebody kidnapped look, you. Look, look, and then It looked like somebody look. kidnapped you. They like, they like, yo, now, now, let me just. <laughs> it looks like you're in a yo, fucking dungeon. It looks like you're in. This is the oil. This Ooh. is so. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> All right, fuck you. You know the fucking. Yeah, look, right. foot video. He tied I posted to the Patreon, me? yeah. Oh, that was for photos. I have photos. How much did you up. charge? How much did you it charge for It was for free. I feel like he got off. It was for free. Oh my god! And we were gonna eventually collab. And I was Yo, if a woman took that much time to send me that, <laughs> wifey. See, <laughs> wifey. After you laugh hysterically. Yo, because that took time. You know what I'm saying? It I would did. think that's mad. You know what I'm saying? That's Honestly, mad funny. We had him on our show. We did. He and came on uh, the photographer. Him. You had a whole backdrop. I. It was the, that Sorry. was my guest bedroom. He is oh. such an interesting person. So he comes on. I think also it's very unassuming what type of person he would be. He was so interesting. I brought him on sex cells to talk about the business of it because I just couldn't understand it. Yeah. But he comes in and he said he had bad energy for me because I'd be joking about feet. He was like, why you be hot in your foot for? Like, why you be hot in your feet? Then we go through pictures of my Instagram, my toes, one of which had no polish. He was like, that shit's fire. No, you 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 have nice toes. But they, they, like, they, they meant no, like, no polish is a thing. So in the foot fetish community, like there's a ton of things regarding web feet unpolished he said there's even a thing with about dirty feet yeah there's levels to there's it there's levels there i don't are, want dirty feet you don't want dirty feet no no would, would you be stomped on or stepped on like there's a thing where even men like to get kicked in their balls we've talked about that no no you don't want to do what about that? like walking on the chest and like I could, yeah like she that. could do that i like feet i like feet on my face i do for that sure. when i'm fucking like i love it that That's shit might make me come oh i'll really rub it quick. all up in the what? eyeballs yeah 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 if, if like i'm if all right so if I'm having sex and she's first of all she's like just everything's popping and then her toes are sexy and they go in my they go in my face, I'm coming. <laughs> Why'd you say it like Because it's a rap. It's, a it's like there's certain things ah, like, it's like if she starts speaking you. a different language or oh, if her toes go in my mouth or my face. Now he got his Dominican foot mommy. <laughs> she's Venezuelan. He said Venezuelan. It's giving South America. I got to tell you yeah. about how one of my boys is like 
really into feet. And he was like, yo, I had a foot model hit me up, basically like offering me like a foot job. But <clears throat> he's popular, like people know who he is. So he was like, what if I fucking let this bitch come over? And then suddenly, bam, on the shade room, it's her feet, my dick. He's like, I'm fucked. <laughs> and he was like, I'd rather bitches fucking run a train on me. I'd rather a whole say I had a little dick. Anything but me getting the foot job. No, I wouldn't mind. Like, I thought about <laughs> well, this. So once I got into like the public eye, I thought about it and I was like, damn, like, there are certain women that I that I've dated in the past, like ex girlfriends, whatever, like that have pictures of my dick. And I'm like, you know what? Who are they? Who are they? Yeah, like, can like, we see? See the people of your pictures of your dick. Like, do you think they'd be willing to share <laughs> the well, old pics? That's what I'm saying. Like, they might just, they might just to say, oh, I'm gonna like see if I. Shorty did it. I I don't think I would be I would be like annoyed that they did that without my consent. But at the end of the day, I don't think it would hurt me. Oh, I'm, I'm suing. Like, if a nigga if a nigga try to expose or drop Oh, I'm probably going to sue, too. Like, I'm suing the fuck out of a but nigga. But if it's like, out, nah. I'm happy with my dick. I heard you had a decent-sized penis, and not from her. That's from your fuck. black side, then, huh? I I, I would assume so. <laughs> okay. I said, I remember when I heard this, I literally said, and no shade, Nick, I said, Really? Oh. Yo, it's a nice surprise. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know many guys that get the pretty eyes and the big. Well, dick. I couldn't be tall. I, that's what I, God. God was oh, like, you can't be tall. Wait, that's oh. right. I do got a nigga who's tall with yeah. with green eyes and a big dick. I don't know how I was blessed. I'm one of God's chosen. Is he an asshole? No, he's actually he's really a great nice. guy. Stupid. Wow, he's actually really nice. Is yeah. he smart? No, when I was he's a kid, athlete, I used to. I used so to. I, don't know how smart I used he to is. legit like pray for a big dick because I'm like God. You're... <laughs> You gotta do something. I ain't six feet. How like, tall are you? Wait, how tall are you? I'm like five nine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't get five nine. I'm fine. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. You still be pulling bitches. It's the pretty eyes. Listen, as long as it's thick, do we care? My thing we is. Do. I do, we do. But I but do I, say we are, all the, we are all the same size laying down. I'm, I'm cool with my height. Like, that's the thing. And I think that helps. Like, I've dated women taller than me. Really? Yeah. And at first they meet me, they're like, but you're shorter than me. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, what? But most tall women do like shorter guys. That's a thing too. Not really. Really? I don't think so. I think I've pulled certain women that are told I've never dated a shorter guy. They like only date basketball players or somebody that well, high. There's only like 400 of them even available that have money. That's the so, other thing. So I saw a study the, the other day. All the rest of them are broke. <laughs> I saw a study the other day. And this guy was like, if a what woman wants- What the fuck wants, are you on, bro? Like, a, how you got the foot study? You got this So, study? So I just watch a lot of content, right? Oh, like podcasts do? and shit like that. And porn. I don't watch that much porn anymore. Nah, oh. I really don't. Okay. It's funny that, that that girl said that because in college, I watched a lot of porn and it desensitized me to real sex. Mm. And I actually, one of my tips to, like if my son or anybody younger than me, a dude ever asked me like- It's what's, giving hors d'oeuvre, y'all. Here's the sex tip. What's one thing you shouldn't do? Watch less porn. Yeah. And do not judge sex off of pornography. Ooh. There's a few reasons for that. Like we could delve into those reasons, but for me- I lost my sense of reality with physical touch, like human interaction. And I wasn't... Is it because... Wait, is it because you were masturbating to the porn? Or is it because what was happening in the porn really didn't align with, with your reality? I think both two things. Like, the the look of the sex and the reality of it just wasn't real. Like, okay. women's assholes don't look like that. I've been trying to bleach time. mine. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you know what, what I'm do saying? You mean? You don't you know, trying to bleach your ass? I've been looking up ways to do it. Because I'm like, I know... First off, my thighs are also dark in the si inside, so I know like I got dark areas, but it's cool. It's just not. But my booty hole. Why don't you just use like a, a my booty hole? The ambi. I would like. To, I mean, I've been looking up like safe <laughs> non-surgical ways to lighten up my booty hole because I do like to have anal sex once a quarter, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I would really just like it. Like, because I've been recording, I'm like, I want this booty hole so you, to not look like a chocolate starfish. So I want it to look like a caramel starfish. You're having anal sex four times a year? About. Okay. Mm, give or take. I've never really I, I've never really had anal sex with a woman. Like, I know I've, you got a big dick. See, that's it's giving big. I've, <laughs> it's giving. She said, you are too big no, to I heard this. what I heard, but now I really believe <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. I look at well, you laughing and you blushing. Yeah. Hey, get the close up. Zoom uh, in. Get, get his, let's call it Big Dick Nick. <laughs> <laughs> she. Let's, that's funny. Wait, wait, all wait. All the light skin jokes. What the fuck? Wait, who did you hear this from? Look, see. Tell you that. Okay. Who, who, that's so wait, interesting. Wait, not the girl from college? 
Oh, you be out here giving that dick up. There's a minute ago, I heard this. out here like that, huh? There was a minute ago, I heard this. Okay. I think I was out. Whoever said that, thank you for telling the truth, you know? Like, I feel like. Thank you. Say it again. You know? Like, I Thank you for not lying. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually got to call her to make sure she cool with me even saying that I said it. I feel a little guilty, but I couldn't help myself. Too late now, you ain't saying her name. Because after I heard it, I just, every time I saw you after that, maybe two or three times, I was like. Is that why you're so nice? Nice to me? 100%. I wasn't going to say it, Come on the pod. Nick, I was not going to say it. Nick, with the big dick. Um, I'm not gonna lie. That it's 100 percent how you got here now. Wow. No. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here, guys. No, I heard this a while ago. Um. <laughs> wait, I was. But no, I, no, wait. Porn and decent. Yeah. So porn. So so aside from the fact that that just is not what sex usually looks like, I also wasn't pleasuring women the way I should be because in porn, like most of the shit I was watching, was very uh, aggressive porn to mm-hmm. women. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't. That shit ain't, yeah. women don't like, most women I've slept with will not, they don't want to just be pounded out, you know so what I'm don't, saying? Unless I ask for it. Unless you ask yes, for it. Yeah. So I love when a nigga says, are you okay? I'll be like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, you want, as a young guy, that's the other thing about young guys having sex with older women. Young guys think that they know what they're doing and or they, they think that they can keep going and shit, but they realize they're in too deep. They like, oh shit, like I don't have this stamina and I also don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Also, they're going so fast because they fast. think that's how you They think that's you... what they're trying to I think people to do. do confuse going fast with stamina. And the yeah. loss, the loss of foreplay. There's like no foreplay in most porns, you know what I mean? Unless you're watching like a real estate agent trying to sell a house and she's like, Oh, well, you could maybe we could fuck or whatever. Um so I watch less porn Flat overall. Porn. Yeah. I like uh I like real life interactions now. Well, I want to spill some tea because this just happened and it reminds me because it was the night I saw you. Mm. So a few, actually it was a few months back, I went on a date with a skater guy who I fucked and it was great. And then, long story short, for those who haven't heard it, Nick hasn't heard it maybe. So this guy, I used some a certain type of condom with him, right? That I couldn't believe I found in the house. So a condom company gifted me like a hotel night and all this shit, and basically we're like, oh, go have a rendezvous and like, just talk about it. So we go out, we have an amazing night, it's like so much fun, Dick shrooms, <laughs> we're kicking it, and then bam, his girlfriend shows up. Didn't even know he had a girlfriend. Whoa. Now, I would argue that this dick was probably the best dick I had since hospital dick. <clears throat> it was so good, right? Now, I don't fuck married niggas, and I try to have a rule about like, not fucking niggas with girlfriends, but there was this part of me that was like, it really ain't my problem. I don't mm. want the nigga. Mm. So let me just go to New York and have sex with this dude. I look at sex differently now, like this today, right? I used to think that in, like my my pleasure in life was being able, if I'm, if I'm single, like I could fuck whoever, how many different people, whatever, whatever. And that's fine. Mm. But what I started to notice is like, yo, if I'm fucking like all these different people, my energy is getting low. I'm like, I don't even like, I don't want to even have a conversation with some of these people. Like, I don't even want them, after we have sex, it's like, well, you know, it's like, I don't want to chill with you and watch TV after then, that's a problem. Right. So if I don't want to share energy with you without sex, then why am I even having sex with you? No, for sure. You know? I've had this conversation yeah. with him we talk about it all the time. With the guy you didn't have sex with yet? Yes. How much y'all have sex? conversations you know about I mean? sex? About not, and then not have sex. Have y'all ever flirted on some like. We've made out. We've had like, yo, yes. Have it's you just... sucked a nipple? <laughs> no, but I think I'm going to pull it out because they're good ones. Have you ever. Uh, yeah. They're like a quarter. <laughs> you know, oh, okay, that's nice. That's cool. Um, <laughs> do you know, like, have you ever had phone sex with him at all? Or like. No. Sexting? But here's you how. You should just sex- have tonight. I can't. Tonight, you should you should just like, be like, oh, okay. like. But this dress is giving slut, so I'm going to text it to him. You should text it to him, and then you should try to have a little phone sex. I can't do Get the him, fo- a, a, like, the anticipation of you coming back this to This is LA. how the sex combo happened. It was kind of like, oh, you know, like, I'm getting older. Da, 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 da. These are things I'm looking for. Like, I'm tired of fucking these hoes, and blah, 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 blah. And like, I'm tired of fucking these hoes. <laughs> I uh, didn't say that. But oh, I thought you said that. I'm just saying it was like something along those lines of, and then it was talking about like spending time with someone, love spending yeah. time with someone. It's great to fuck somebody you actually like. Yes. And I'm sitting there like, hello, nigga. Wow. Are you sure he doesn't have a girlfriend or anybody else? Positive. I asked him the day I met him. Is he asexual? Mind you, I only asked him the day I met him we're, because we're, I met him coming off of the night that I was with the dude whose girlfriend popped up. Maybe he is currently rehabbing sex addiction. 
No, girl. All right, so wait. I mean, has, is it clear that you, you and him are? Does he know that, that you're you into fuck him? Him and suck his dick. And, and has or, he? Very clear. Or does he think this is a friendship? No, it's clear. How is it clear? Because you made out. Or? How have you made it clear? Let's talk about how you can make it clear that you, as a woman, want to. Bro, fuck we're interviewing man. Nick. Let me go back to my shit. This is <laughs> now. I feel the pressure. I can't. And this is too much for me. Okay, uh, threesomes. You ever had one? Not yet. What? What a no. big old dick. How you had a big dick and never had a threesome. What a waste of time. Uh, so one of my ex girlfriends, when we were like our relationship was heavy on the rocks, mm. and she just suggested she was like maybe we should bring another woman into the mix, and I was like mm. for real. I was like okay, but we were really on. Now some... why y'all on the rocks? <laughs> exactly. That's what you can't do. Right. Three some tips that y'all be asking for. If you are on the rocks with your partner, that is not the time to bring a third in. So Agreed. she was like pretty much, yo, we should bring another girl into this. And this was a there was a girl that we both knew. And she was like, what do you think about her? And I'm like, she's fire. And as soon as I said that, she got pissed off. <laughs> she was like, she's fire? So why don't you go fuck her? And I'm like, yo, you, you were the one who just, this is why. Do you this... too think she's fire? But nah, I'm going to be real with y'all. This is why you can't fuck a bitch that's too bad if you're not sure. I right. would rather have a threesome with two women that I'm not like. I don't want to be in a relationship That's or really one, like though. a woman. I wish I had like an opportunity where I was maybe casually dating a girl. Like we're totally just fucking, and then maybe she has a really hot friend that she's always thought was attractive. I've done that. That's cool. I've you done know that. what I'm saying? And then there's no emotional attachment involved because I feel like if you're in a relationship, it becomes and you, tougher. If you open the door to that, you don't know what you're oh, opening. My door the is door open, to. <laughs> wide open. Um, Are you in a relationship? And all. Um, I'm single, but I'm not. But I am. But I am. But I'm not. Got it. Um, Understood. <laughs> and we had a lot of threesomes, and I realized how much more like the checking in, the crossing of boundaries, the way I felt was way different than when I was just having threesomes with like athletes and people who like were fun and good looking, yeah. but like not men that I would ever be with. Right. So having had been the fun girl having threesomes with my friends or whoever they were fucking and we all just fuck is com has been completely different than having sex with my partner. Yeah. But I do realize it is a part of a relationship that I do like because I realize how much I like women. Right. So I would want my male partner to be comfortable enough to know that right. and to accept it and you could join in or you, or not. It's so interesting. But, like whenever women ask me that, even women, I'm the, the, the girl I'm dating, she asked me that early on. She's like, have you ever had a threesome? I'm like, nah. She's like, for real? That's a question that gets asked. Wait, she said for real. Like she'd be, she'd because, be because no, she, she because thought that I would have had, had a threesome. And I'm like, yo, honestly, like I'm very content with like fucking one woman at a time. And I have the best time ever. And I don't feel like I'm ever missing anything. Mm. But let's say, I like was dating a chick in another like let's say I was dating a chick in like Paris or somewhere, and I go to see her in Paris and we're chilling and then she happens to have a. Can home you not girl. bring up France on this goddamn podcast? Because I've so been many times. I love Paris. There we go. All right, Paulie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I love foreign love. Foreign love affairs are great too. He, he love white women. Here we go. You said from scratch. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, wait, that hold stuff. on. What is going to, and mind you, if the woman lives in Paris, it's not like it's vacation sex. Why would that be the ideal thing? Well, what I'm saying is I it would be ideal that I have no real ties You don't even want to run woman. into somebody. Okay. I just want to, if, if I was going to ever have a threesome, it would have to be totally out of my zone. I don't want to have to see y'all all the time. That's why you, know you said I mean? you, you spent New Year's in DR, right? No, I'm going oh. to DR for relaxation. Oh, okay. I will yeah. say this. Okay. You said okay. uh, you're very content like w w with one person. Like you, you just said something about like, I don't know. I don't really need a threesome. Like I'm good with. Yeah, yeah. The one of the best compliments I felt like I ever had, or maybe not a compliment, but a moment a man made me feel really hot. I was with this guy, and we were meeting up in another city, and I said something about like, oh, it's Miami. Maybe we can, you know, get a chick. Da -da -da. And he was like, yo, honestly, like, we can get a chick for real, like anywhere we are. Like, let's be real. Like, I just want to be with you. I've been That's thinking about fact. you. And I was like, that's some grown man shit, it man. It is, and it really feels good yeah. because men get so thirsty. And I wasn't even doing it to try to like, you know, oh my god, I'm this cool, fun sex bitch. Like I really do want some pussy, but I felt very special. And I think when men reaffirm that, yeah, that not trying to say, you know, trick a bitch, but it does make women feel more comfortable when you're the one that's constantly saying like, I need this and X, Y, Z. It's fucking annoying. Like when I'm around my boys and they, they'll like see me happy with one person. As I got older and wiser, I feel like I'm like, yo, I don't need to. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you got to go do it. Like, I know I could fuck a bunch of women, but I don't need to. You know what I'm saying? Because right. then it's like true power is knowing that you 
hold the keys to something and you're like, but I don't really need to use it. Yes. Because why? What is it actually doing for me? What is it making me more money? Is it making me better? You know what I'm saying? As I get older and I'm trying to like build shit, I'm like, I'd rather just have a down ass chick who's dope as fuck, who's fucking the shit out of me and letting me fuck the shit out of her and we cool. You know what I'm saying? And if ever down the line she's like, damn, babe, like, I'm kind of feeling like I want a chick to eat my pussy or something like that. I'm like, okay, let's. Now, you just said she doesn't live in the same city. Has it been hard for you to be monogamous? Like, is this something? This is the first time in my life so far. And it, granted, it's early. Like, it's only been. You're also only 31. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time in my life where I've, like, been. Because I'm technically, I'm still single. I have the, I can do Wait, what? whatever. I'm single. We're okay, not, that's not single, my girlfriend. Yeah. But. And I told her this. I was like, "Yo, I'm I'm good. Like I I'm only focused. I'm trying my best not to confuse the universe with what my intentions are." So why are be single? Why, why be not sing- to be together? How well, like we're taking our time. You know, there's no rush. How to long like, has it been? Two months. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like I think I remembered you with another Latina chick, and I thought I think that's I thought that's who it was. Gotcha. Nah, no. Um, that one's gone. <laughs> yeah, long. Okay, yeah. got you. You just yeah, have yeah. a tight. No, I don't. <laughs> So my type... It's okay to have, I have a type, okay, by the way. So Hold on. Real quick. It's because, okay, it's, it's, wait, I have I, different no, types. I be coming at my motherfucking friends. It is okay to have a type. The fact that they all say that my niggas could be brothers or cousins or... I hate that shit. Don't. And I'm it like, is okay to have a type. But, but, but my thing it is, is they okay don't even... It's okay to be shallow. They don't even look, they don't even look alike. That's what I be saying, too. I'm you like, like, but, but to I, your I, friends, I've they told do. I've Mandy recently... To your friends, they do. ...that the type of dudes that I fuck... Have the same energy. They be artsy niggas. That's the thing. They it's be energy. kind of eclectic. It's not physical. Oh no, it I'm is. all physical. No, because no, I've, not... I've dated up until up until college. Like I said, I only dated mostly black women and a few Latin women. Then I went to college and I'm like, oh shit, all right. There's other Indian, a uh, Indian chick, or like this, that, the third. And then I moved to Vancouver and I started dating um, Asian women. And that was the first time I had ever dated Asian. Are there a lot women. of Asian people there. A lot, a lot, huge Asian population okay. over there, and. <laughs> I'm, I noticed, I'm like, yo, my type really isn't physical, like, because I find many different women beautiful physically. My type is reciprocated energy. Like, mm. if I'm putting, if, if, if I'm, like, hitting you up and showing you a certain type of energy, like, let's say I hit you up, good morning, all that type of shit. If you never text me in the morning, then I'm like, the fuck? If I don't, if I could... Not you want good morning text. Grand yeah, Rising I want King? a fucking good morning. Yeah, yeah, I want a <laughs> that, good morning, daddy. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, daddy, good morning. daddy in the yeah, morning. Yeah, sir. Let me the eat fuck? my eggs first. Let me get on the treadmill, baby. Do that first. shit while you're on the treadmill. I don't... That's the good morning, daddy. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm a voice note person. I, I love voice notes. I won't listen to a voice note. I hate ever getting them, but I like I feel I like I like sending them. And but you want to know something? I hate voice notes from people I don't want voice notes from. I know. Right? I just want to hear your voice. Like That's like it. certain times. Call me. I got friends. Don't voice note me. I do shit. like niggas that ain't scared to call me. Don't voice note me shit. A blind call. I literally respond back. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't I hear. I think any the of it. anxiety That's with it. phone calls are for people. That's how you know if you have real chemistry. Like, if you can call somebody and the conversation just flows. Ugh, that's the best. I'll be on the phone sometimes for two hours now, and I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't even realize we were on the phone this long. I'll be, I would, today I was working out, and she's on the phone while I'm fucking doing pull-ups, and she's saying dirty shit to me. She's like, you're making me feel a certain type of way. I'm like, you know, how am I making you feel? And, like, she hearing my <laughs> grunts and shit, and she's like, tell me how you think you're making me feel. And I'm like, oh, What, what do your grunts sound like? Mm, you know. Ooh, not Lakeitho <laughs> Clubhouse. <laughs> Yo, I love when a nigga do the grunt at me like a fucking growl. Oh, I love it. I like moaning. Yeah. I, I want a nigga to moan. If it's too quiet, that's why hood niggas, I miss them, but sometimes I'm be tired of fuck. So my thing is, the I think the beauty with me is that I grew up, I grew up in like a seesaw. Like I was always hood adjacent, you know what I'm saying? I'm always like in the hood. My friends are gang members and shit in high school, but I was never about that life. Are you Drake? No, no, <laughs> but it's like, I was always on the like, all right, I know I have a I have to do shit with my life, but I learned so much from the streets that I'm able to bring that into my real life now and the women I'm dealing with, they're not used to that. They're not used to like a dude who's doing shit. Yeah. But they also like, oh wow, I've never met a dude that can take me to the Bronx and like take me to get some like official authentic oxtail and fuck the shit out of me, but also be kind and like, you know what I'm saying, funny or whatever. And I'm like, yo, that's how most of my friends are. Like Yo, kind men. You live in the Bronx? No, I'd spend a lot of oh, time okay. in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Not the Bronx. Yeah. Not the big dick Nick Bronx. What I got to ask, Dex? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because my family's Jamaican, so like... 
Hey, yo, I feel, that's the dick. I feel really bad for the girl you're <laughs> oh dating, actually. My, because after yeah. this episode comes out, they're going to be like, I just want to all be in your dick. You're going to get feet. Pussy ass, titties. <laughs> You gonna send the feature and be like, baby, what you think? <laughs> you know, that's the dope. I love being able to date a girl, right? And we're out, and I love us both being able to be like, yeah, she's fire or whatever, you know, as opposed to my other dating tip stop the fucking insecurity, yo. There's no way to stop it. There is. Nah, a no, lot of I... people don't have control over how someone else makes them feel or how they feel in a certain situation. My you, thing is sometimes I mean, there's forced to therapy and stuff, but sometimes there's forced insecurity in the sense of like, What's if nobody's insecurity? ever, all right. So if you're dating somebody and you've never given them a reason to, let's say you have guy friends, yep. platonic guy friends, you've introduced them. Everybody's yep. cool. Yep. If they're sitting there like, questioning you about shit multiple times like it's okay to ask like yo like just to make it clear like have you ever fucked any of these dudes and you're like never like that's my fucking homie he dates he's dated my cousin before if he oh if you and him are tight the other dude and he's constantly saying like nah i don't fuck with that dude and he's never giving you a mm. reason to say that you're force you're creating shit that doesn't exist yep. and you're putting it in the universe yep. and eventually you're going to drive her into doing some other type of shit also we feel when there's nothing of a worse feeling than being around a man that is worried about, like, because I, I know when I'm into somebody and they feel it. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck, exactly. bro? Exactly. Like, You're fucking up the whole vibe. Shit, I'm not even thinking about this shit. And when women do it, you know, it's terrible. I've been that girl too. But I had to learn to put trust in how men feel about me. You know what I mean? If you're bringing me to an event or a place where your friends are at or whatever, I have to trust and isolate this moment that you're not the last nigga I thought about. You know what I mean? Like and the other thing is, it makes you so... I've realized the difference because I've been insecure before and I've like had paranoia and questions in past relationships and I've noticed the difference with not doing that anymore. That shit just makes your... Like, so let's say my girl's going out and she's wearing a gorgeous ass dress maybe her she's not wearing a bra and her titties are kind of showing and she goes out to the club or some shit i know for a fact there's gonna be dudes hollering at her it don't even her. matter if she got the dress on nick that's the thing it doesn't even matter she could go to trader fucking joe's in a hoodie thank you but some dudes would be like why you gotta wear that why da 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 question her texting her thought you sure you're not talking to nobody i'm more like yo have fun but Do when your you're thing. with an attractive person you have to accept it like i i hit up uh my nigga that's not my nigga and he was going out to watch football, and I was like, well, don't get hit on too much. Or make sure, you know, you don't give attention to too many people. Something along the lines of him getting hit on. And he was like, well, you know I can't help that. And I was like, well, you right. That's a, you but fine. that's a cool little... Because you fine. It's fun to be a little and jealous like and throw it in there. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, I yeah. love a little jealousy. You got to have a little bit. bit. A little bit. You got to have a little bit. What you on? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> So like, you went to black on the block? Oh, no, no, no. And the, what happened? The gray sweats ain't acceptable. I don't know him, no, even when he wore to my yeah. house. Like, hey, nigga, <laughs> did you make a stop before you got here? Because yeah. them is unacceptable. Yeah, she, I do she think told it me can not be to cute. Wear gray the gray sweats, sweats you can't wear them. But, uh, Put them away. The little jealousy can be cute. It's the control shit. That, 100%. You that, know what I mean? And the emotional <clears> dumping <throat> of your insecurities, too. 100%. I agree. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like whenever you let a woman or a guy like just be them, they're going to want you more. Because at the end of the day, yep. If if somebody's going to cheat on you or do anything, they're going to do it rather whether you accuse them of shit or not. You accusing them of some shit that really might have never happened is only going to make them think about it more. So why not just be <laughs> fucking calm, cool and collective and be like, "Yo, if you cheat on me, that I don't give a that's on you." We've got to start thinking better of ourselves. Let's just say you're with someone that's super attractive, right? There's a I think we talked about it on a horrible million dollars worth of game. Brent Fire said Sometimes I don't even look at the baddest bitch in the room because I'm looking for the girl that's got the energy or, you know what I mean, every other woman wants to be around her. Like, that's the girl I'm looking at. And I really believe a lot of men are like that. I believe that shit with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I hang out with a lot of IG, especially since I've been in L.A., like, a lot of IG, like, looking chicks, right? Not that they ain't doing shit, but, like, they've got that look. And the men that come up to me... Like, I know that they see something else, mm. right? Maybe my ass ain't as fat as my homegirl, you know what I'm saying? But, like, maybe you see that I'm smiling and that I'm having a good time and whatever, and you want to be around me, and that's a real thing. And I think that we've got to understand when people have chosen us, Yeah. just understand that's the same thing. Feel good about yourself. There's always going to be a better bitch you. 100%. There's always going to be a taller nigga than you. 100%. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a bitch that had real teeth. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> not many anymore, but yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, that's facts. No, you just got to be confident. People hit me up like, you going to get your teeth next? I, I think that's, that's what, how I need your teeth That's next. how I really, I've been able to like become confident and like fully. COVID helped me a lot like with confidence and like how? really loving myself. Well, I feel like before quarantine, I was always with somebody. I was always either in a relationship or a situationship. And COVID was the first time in my life I had you fully- You sit your ass I down. I just sit my ass down. <laughs> I started working out and I was like, yo, I look good as fuck. Like, I feel good as fuck. I don't need to like, I don't care anymore. I didn't cut my hair. I had. I looked like a crazy motherfucker that just, I looked like I just got out and I was the type of dude to do pull-ups on the crosswalk. I ain't gonna lie, I just got out, bro. nigga, Woo. Yo, what's that Drewski shit? He that was the even... most. That was the most attention from women I was ever getting on Instagram when I was not giving a fuck. And they were like, "Something about you changed. Like you just so about sexy." You changed. He ain't DMing them. You had that beard. Spanish. I ain't gonna hold you. We love some beards. I had a fucking. I know that's yeah. what changed. We like a nigga with a so, beard now. So now I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna be a confident ass dude, and it's up to you to want to receive that or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna pressure you into. Like, not hanging out with your girls and making you feel guilty. Do your fucking thing. And then when you come home, you know you're getting good dick. So if you want to ruin that. Bro, when you fucking somebody right, it don't matter where they go. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. I've had niggas go any kind of fucking party, come back from wherever, and just be like wanting me. Yeah. That, when you really put your outfit into fucking the shit out of somebody, especially before they go somewhere, that's the real move. Yeah. Don't let me suck your dick before you go to some damn party. You gonna want to come back home to it? Right? I texted a nigga that I wanted to drain him once. He came to my house in a suit before a GQ party. I'll never forget. And he was like, "Yo, are you my driver's down?" Yeah. <laughs> that's the like, best, yo. That's yeah. what I love. That's what I'm saying about like if you find your person, even if it's your person for that moment, like you don't need to be outside, find filling voids of yourself with other insignificant energies. You feel me? Like I just feel like. As we get older, we start to hopefully we start to realize that you don't, especially men, like you don't got to be fucking every woman. Like I got some really attractive women friends that I've never like I've never hit on you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like some of my homies can't understand that shit. They're like, yo, men don't. They yeah. don't. Men don't. It's like, yo, you got all these bad like chicks like that you chill. And I'm like, yeah. And I enjoy that. And but like there have been times where I have really hot homegirls who their friends are hot to and they've put me on with yep. some of their homegirls, you know? But also when you find a platonic energy with someone, sometimes you don't want to really ruin it with sex. Like, you know what I mean? Like that too. I have a lot of dudes I hang with people don't believe I'm not fucking them either. It is what it is. But yeah. I I agree with you. And I also want to just add, men listening, you see that? You don't have to be a hoe. No, you don't. And I used to be. Like I was outside. You could be famous with a big dick and stop. <laughs> at some point you can yo it's, it's fucking possible it is and I didn't I used to <laughs> think it wasn't fucking possible yo I used to think I would be like well it's probably over for me I, I used to look at George Clooney and Derek Jeter and I'd be like I guess I'll wait till I'm 50 because I know I have to be outside like fucking with starlets and all these like different women and now I'm like nah they don't even deserve why do I need to be fucking why do I need to give good dick to all these insignificant energies? Well, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your shit, you gotta, bro. That's real as fuck. That's Talk real. My dick is good as fuck. Why I gotta be fucking? No, fuck that. He's selling so, it. It's He's like, selling it right here so, on YouTube. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, if you find a dope human, if you're a man or a woman, and you find a dope human, appreciate that shit. I mean, and, that's right. and stop looking for something better. Yeah, you your grass I'm is not, greener where you water it. For sure real. is. It's green. Cause I've I've had I've had I've had to go through shit. I've had to have regrets with with like a couple women in my life where I'm like, you know, I don't regret it in the sense of I wish I could turn back time, but I'm like, I'm so happy that it's happened. So I learned from that experience so that when I do meet a woman that I could actually build something with, I'm like, yeah, I could go outside and fuck like this person or that person, but it the 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 pros and cons like the pros of staying with this person just outweighs the cons of we've all been that shit. person for someone i know for a fact that like a few men i've dated went on to have great relationships after me and i'm like you're welcome bitch <laughs> yeah like, like tell people where they can find you and and and, and let's say consensually you yeah. know will you take a foot pick or not we we want to know pretty toes are pretty toes you know okay like, or Let interesting. Him. Venezuela cool. What is it? Are you because just saying? You, say, you, you call have my, my toes interesting. It, uh huh. Now he you just pat, pat your now foot. Now he just patted my foot. He sure did. They, they, I didn't let him know where to find you. They cute. You uh, got Nick with the big dick. Go ahead. He likes Karuchi toes. You see why he don't like yours? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> he like a long foot. <laughs> it, it ain't for everybody. That's fine. They be in somebody mouth. <laughs> That's real. See, 
Uh, you can find me at Nick Cregan. That's N I C K C R E E G A N on everything. DMs are open, ladies. Um, <laughs> by, the, he's single. by the way, um, if you guys are tuning in, I hope that you guys had a very, very, very happy holidays and a happy new year. We do have ugly Christmas sweater crew necks available at whorehive.com. We know you passed they Christmas, have, but it's still wintertime. Yes, it's still wintertime. You can still rock it. it there's there's nothing that says Christmas or any of the holidays, but it is giving ho ho ho. It's giving scarf. It's giving lights. And y'all know if you spend a lot of time putting up them goddamn Christmas lights, they're gonna stay up till February. Mm. So you can wear this all month still, okay? So go to whorehive.com and get your horrible decisions merch now. We have a beanie. Um, we have a lot of things. We have thongs and all of our merch. Condoms. All of our merch is also marked down and on sale. All of the designs that are currently on our website, you will not be able to get anymore once they are gone. So get them now. We will be bringing you guys some new designs in 2023. Um, and also, we have Patreon. You want to tell them about Patreon? <laughs> Man, you just looked over at me like I was a, <laughs> I, I knew Bitch, I've been doing a lot of talking, <laughs> No, you had a spiel. All right. <laughs> Check us out on Patreon.com backslash Horrible Decisions. We've had our Patreon for years. There's hundreds of hours of content on there. It's all of the tea we share. Yeah, it's and almost at 200 episodes over there, too, y'all. It's crazy. I think we've had it like five years. So if you want more horrible and you want Mandy and I alone because you don't like light-skinned big dick niggas, go check us out on Patreon. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you so much Yo, for joining us, Yo, I appreciate us, y'all. Man. Yo, congratulations on all this. This is dope. Thank, Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. And y'all, this has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Hey. Bye.